All right, I am excited today because I'm going to give you the short Cliff Notes version of how I lost the weight without understanding all this lower brain, higher brain stuff and, 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 and feeling like I had to learn a bunch of new stuff. I'm going to tell you exactly how I did it. So I lost my weight from 2006 to 2012. I had two pregnancies during that time period. And I also, that was the time where I made the decision I was going to lose this weight in a totally different way because I had done the drastic restrictions, overeating, binge eating, worked my way up to over 300 pounds by trying to diet the weight off quickly. <laughs> okay, so I've been there, done that. But, but I want to talk to you about the quote that inspired this video. It was, what assistance can we offer in the war against bad habits? Let's try the opposite. And I, and I kind of you know, filled in a few words there, but that's from Epictetus. Stoic philosopher, ancient dude, he got it, right? If you don't want to have the same negative habits, do the opposite. And in my journey, I didn't understand about lower brain, higher brain. Totally not on my radar. But here's what I did understand. I understand the two quotes, and I started to think about this totally differently. The one quote was, you can't fix the problem with the same level of thinking that created it. And insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. Those two quotes really sat on my shoulder. And I was at the time, I was a math teacher. And I thought to myself, I have this very normal equation-like process I find myself in. I start something. It, it, it starts out good. Things are going fine. Something happens, I hear this voice in my head that convinces me because I ate too much, had a high calorie meal, whatever, to quit the process. Like there was these very cliche, repetitive things that kept happening. And I thought to myself, this whole process of losing weight is kind of like this equation concept. I keep, every time I come up against the same variable, right? It's always working out the exact same way. So, so I need to change the variable. I need to change a component of what I'm doing. And so I made it very simple for myself. Whatever I would have done prior to making this decision, I wanted to lose my weight with a different mindset and I was gonna focus on habits and I was gonna focus on maintenance as my mindset. I decided whatever I would normally do in that situation, I would just do the opposite. That was it quite simple and it worked <laughs> like if I normally would go out to eat at a restaurant and I'd be like whoa I don't know what's in this meal I can't possibly journal this this is too confusing eh, slap something in there call it a day do the opposite because see what would happen is then there would be these gaping holes in my food log and I had no idea. And then what that would do is mentally give me the ability to eat what, more than what I would have planned or more than I would have tracked because I was checking out of the process, right? On the times I had a binge or I overate, I would normally treat that day like a free-for-all. I could have and eat whatever I want because I've already screwed up. Nope, that's what you would normally have done, Heather. Now we're going to just go back to eating normally for the rest of the day. Huh, that's different doing the opposite. If I would have normally said, I got to rip out my calendar, plot out how fast I'm going to lose this weight, make a timeline for myself. Nope, not going to do that. We're going to focus on how much average weight you're losing. We're going to let the process play out. Whatever I did, and again, I had no concept of lower brain, higher brain. All the stuff was way outside of my scope at that time. But what I did know, and what you know, let's be honest, what you know is that you have a very predictable pattern of behavior. That voice is going to keep showing up. It's going to pull you, want to pull you back into your habit. So even if you don't want to get into talking back to it and understanding it, and you're like, hey, Heather, this is all stuff I don't really even want to know about. Great. When you hear it, when you feel the compulsion to do the thing you've always done, do the opposite. Like that's the solution, like truly. Like if you want to like, cut it down to brass taxes, the opposite approach to whatever your brain is telling you to do, whatever it feels like is normal or comfortable or is the, is the acceptable progression of this moment, 
to do the opposite feels very uncomfortable. It felt very uncomfortable for me to journal food that I didn't 100% know the calories for. It felt very uncomfortable for me to have a binge and then eat my next meal normally. It felt very uncomfortable for me to say, oh, a 10 minute walk is better than no walk. Because in my mind, I thought if I couldn't dedicate an hour to it, or if it couldn't be at this certain way, it wasn't worth it, right? So I had all of this stuff in my head, just like you do. And instead of saying to myself that I had it to do it the way I've always done it, I just did the opposite. So I just wanted to share that with you because I know so many people have it in their head that there's all this stuff you've got to learn, all the stuff you've got to take in. But truly, when I was dealing with two toddlers and a baby, I just wanted to get the weight off. I wanted, I wanted to change my life. I wanted to make sure that my habits were solid. And it was very simple to me. Whatever Heather 10 years ago would have done, we do the opposite because, and here's the other thing I want you to walk away with. You might be thinking the opposite. How do I know that works? <laughs> what you knew, and this is how, this was the comfort I drew from it. What I knew was I had proven my equation so many times because I had repeated it so many times. I knew that this number in this equation always produced a failure response, always. So what I knew is that I could put any other variable in there, the opposite, whatever that is. And I was gonna get a different response. I was gonna get a different outcome. And that let me sleep at night. That kept me grounded so I could keep pushing forward. Because all I knew, I was so burned out, so over it, so over the restrictive dieting. Oh, Heather, you're only gonna eat 1200 calories a day. Why are you strangely binging every night? Why does this cycle keep repeating itself? Um, why are you heavier now than when you started the diet, right? Like, I was so over it that I was willing to take anything else. I would have, I would have probably been better just to have you know, been like, okay, I'm maintaining right now, right? If that's what the opposite produced, I would have been happy, but it didn't. It produced 170 pounds of weight loss. So I'm telling you, I don't know what your opposite is, right? I can guess. I could probably put most of them in a bucket right now for you, but, but I, I don't know what your opposite is, but here's what I do know. The same level of thinking that's creating the problem cannot fix the problem. So AKA the way you think about it, the way you're handling it, the way your past self has gone about this process is why you have not been successful. So that thinking can't be the fix to the problem, right? Logic would dictate. And insanity is doing the same thing over and over again. And I finally, it's like, I don't want to be insane anymore. <laughs> I, I was insane. I kept waking up, doing the same pattern of behavior, thinking this time it was going to be different, crash and burn, crash and burn. And, and I was hitting weights I never thought I would hit. Like I never in my wildest dreams, when, when I did when my very first diet at 220 pounds, I never envisioned I would be almost 100 pounds heavier than that at one point. Like that, that was outside of the scope of my thought process. How could that happen, right? I was going to diet because I had this binge eating issue on top of it, right? So I just want to encourage you to trust me on this. The opposite's going to give you a different outcome. And if you are not happy with the outcome that your variables have continuously given you, what harm is there in doing something different? doing the opposite, trying it out. And yes, it's going to be uncomfortable, hence the breaking of the habit loop. But again, I did all this without understanding, like my lower brain was the thing driving me to repeat the behaviors. All I knew when I heard that voice in my head that said, oh yeah, the scale didn't give you the results you want this week. Might as well have that pizza tonight. Might as well have that ice cream tonight because you know what? You're not losing weight anyway. Very cliche thing I would hear in my head, by the way. I would be like, no, 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 I didn't get the result I want. Sure. We're just going to keep on keeping on. We're just going to keep going. We're going to try something different here. That's what it looked like. And it felt uncomfortable because part of me wanted the pizza. Part of me wanted to go back into the habit, right? Like it does feel good to gorge yourself on certain foods sometimes just for even that moment that you're doing it. But I kind of got that that's where I was stuck, right? So I just want to encourage you. No matter where you are in your journey, if you see you've got patterns of behavior 
They're very cliche. They're all coming from your lower brain. You're in the cycle, right? Just do the opposite. Save yourself all the time and energy, the reading, the just do the opposite. You will, whatever you're hearing it say, oh, you know, just stay in bed all day today. You're worthless. Da, 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 da. If that's where your day starts, do the opposite. Get out of bed. That's how you move through this. Your lower brain showing up and telling you what to do and you not getting the result you want. The opposite is the thing to focus on. All right, guys, you have a great day. Please like and subscribe. Uh, below you can go ahead and submit you know any questions or feedback and if you want more help from me like access to the podcast show that comes out every monday i have all the links down in the description you guys have a great day i'll talk to you soon